You are listening to Basement Chronicles with Lisa Dublin, episode number 33. Hey, you made it! Welcome to my basement! I'm Lisa Dublin, a health and life coach, and I help professional and executive women to live, lead, and speak with confidence. Because you know what? Developing your confidence and deepening your faith in God is the best formula for an amazing life. So, are you ready? Let's go. Hey, podcast listeners, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the podcast. I know it has been a while, but you know what? Here's what I've come to accept. Life happens and things don't always go as planned. But you know what? As soon as I normalize life, the intention is to produce this podcast every week. And I think that's where I'm heading. So if you're listening to this podcast on Thursday, October 31, it is my birthday. Yay! (laughs) Today I turn 49. And on the cusp of being 50, I thought I would examine the four biggest lessons that I've learned in the last couple years. So I won't be extremely long today, and I hope you play and replay this episode because I do believe those lessons I've learned are quite valuable. Oh, by the way, another thing that's happening on Thursday, October 31, is that my new book is being published. I wrote and published a book called Worship at Midnight. 31 Days to Deeper Intimacy and Accelerated Breakthroughs. And so go get this book on Amazon, okay? Because Midnight Worship has literally changed my life in the last year or so. I realized it's one of the reasons that I was not supposed to go back to the office to discover all of these things and to be able to share them in a way that makes sense and can entice other people to do the same. God is working. God is powerful. And if you are in a fierce fight for your life, you need to fight fiercely with all your life. And that is where Midnight Worship comes in. So please go get the book. It's available on paperback, on Kindle, and it's also in hardcover this time. I wrote it as a primer and as a devotional. So it means that it teaches you the basic principles of worship, of Christianity, that kind of thing. And you also get to go along my midnight worship journey by following along with the devotionals every single day for 31 days. I am so sure that the Holy Spirit is going to speak to you in doing this midnight worship that I included a blank page at the end of every day, every devotional, so that you could capture what you hear, what you feel, what you see, because the Holy Spirit is amazing that way he works through our senses to tell us things, to impress upon us the things that he wants us to do. So I want to encourage you to go get your copy. Unfortunately, you can't buy this book and share it with anybody else. Because if you're going to be writing from your experience of the Holy Spirit, it's going to be private and personal. So you can't be sharing that book with anybody else. Oh, absolutely not. So buy the book for yourself and get another one for your bestie, okay? So thanks for your time about that book, and let's get into the podcast right now. The topic, as I said, is what are those lessons that I've learned that are most valuable to me over the last couple years? Here's the first lesson. It is obviously related to um, maybe even the book, and it is this. It pays to put God first. It might seem boring. It might seem small in the moment, and you might look like for a moment there that You know, you are the mother of all sorrows, always praying, always, you know, fasting, always worshiping, that kind of thing, while other people are out there living it up. But what I've come to realize is that true success, peace, and satisfaction come from firstly accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and then living intentionally according to his love and his laws. That's the first lesson. The second lesson is this. No one can want something for you as much as you want it for yourself. And the inverse is true. You cannot want something for someone more than they want it for themselves. So I'm a little disillusioned right now, I think. I'm pretty tired of, you know, seeing people start and stop, start with a bang and then fizzle out, or go around in the same circles year after year. And so 
I have simply adopted the attitude of listening without judgment and not saying anything new because there's nothing new to say in certain situations. Some people, I realize, they prefer to complain. They prefer to do things their way. They prefer drama and chaos. So I don't judge. I don't get angry or frustrated anymore. I simply realize that my journey is different from everybody else's and everyone has the right to think and act the way that they feel is right, as do I. And so in such situations, I recognize that paths might be diverging and mine is a bit lonely to tell you the truth and that's just the way it is. The third thing that I've realized is this. Sometimes people leave without explanation and you should not hold it against them or blame yourself. You know, that lesson, it reminds me of something that I read in Acts of Faith by Ian Levenzant many, many years ago, that people come into your life for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. This has happened to me quite a lot recently, and you know, I've had to learn to mourn the loss of a relationship without knowing exactly what happened, without having the benefit of them wanting to engage anymore. It's just a couple of people, I guess. And I have had to learn to just simply move on. Now, that is hard. Don't get me wrong. And I feel like, you know, like the more successful I get, I guess the more out there, it's the more lonely it gets. Honestly, that's what's going on right now. And it's okay. And, you know, even though I don't have it all figured out, I have realized when someone leaves your life suddenly, you cannot make it about you. Sometimes that person just simply has so much going on that they cannot find the words to express their feelings. Sometimes they have simply decided to take a different path. And other times, perhaps they were never very genuine in the first place. So I guess in that case, it is really about good riddance. Well, you'll never know until time passes. So in other words, Time will tell what the situation was about. In the meantime, what I've learned to do, keep on believing in myself, keep on praising God, loving myself, and doing the best that I can. Here's number four. You're going to be so surprised. <laughs> you know the fourth lesson that I've learned the last couple years or months, whatever? This is it. Laugh a lot. Oh my goodness, you guys. We need to laugh. We need the joy of the Lord is your strength. Laugh a lot. Laugh heartily. Laugh at silly things. Laugh at yourself. It makes life worth living. The last couple months in particular, though they've been pretty rough, I have been watching some very silly accounts on Instagram. Let me tell you, that has helped to take the pressure off of the reality of life, to tell you the truth. So, for example, have you all heard of this girl? Her name is Elizabeth. And her IG handle is at Elizabeth is funny seven. And it's the number seven that she has at the end there. Let me just say that again. Elizabeth is funny seven. I don't know all the details about her, but her videos are so funny because they are usually about a Haitian mom who is dealing with being an immigrant in the United States with, you know, American sons. And she's very adamant and set in her ways. <laughs> and she has this phrase that she says, never. <laughs> and you know, you can tell that this woman is strong. She is spirited, even though a bit misguided and not having the language to be able to express herself. But go check her out because, I mean, I just get a huge laugh from just seeing her in character and enjoying and being able to identify with this Caribbean immigrant mom. So. That is our podcast for today. These are my lessons that I've learned. Nothing extremely deep or morose, I hope. And don't forget, if you're listening on YouTube, leave a comment. Or at least, you know, you can just tell me happy birthday. Okay, let's start there. <laughs> I will see all the comments and I will respond. Please like and share the podcast. And most importantly, wherever you get your podcasts, you need to subscribe to Basement Chronicles. So that every time I upload a new episode, you will get a notification. I have two other things to tell you about. I'm starting another podcast. This one is called I'm Not Going Back to the Office. 
If you have been following this podcast for a while, I always talk about that book that I have written and which will be published in the new year 2025. I just felt like God was saying to me, publish this book first, Worship at Midnight, 31 Days to Deeper Intimacy and Accelerated Breakthroughs. I felt that it needed to be published first and I was just obedient and I got it done by my birthday, which was the instruction. But now it's on to other things. Now it's on to lead a group of women, men, whosoever will, into walking in your calling, into living for God, living the kingdom life, into a life where, yes, you can make an impact while making an income and you can do it God's way. You don't have to do it in the nine to five or in that nine to five if you are unhappy or if it's not what you were called to do. So that podcast will be starting on Friday, the 8th of November. And I hope to be running it simultaneously with Basement Chronicles for a while until perhaps we transition into just I'm not going back to the office. We will see how it goes. The whole journey of entrepreneurship is that there are highs and lows and things take twists and turns. But it's such a niche that I know not everybody would take to it, but I do know that there are lots of people who are frankly unhappy in their jobs and are looking to walk in their calling. And so this new podcast is going to teach people just how to do it. The other thing that I want to tell you is about the Winner's Circle, my group coaching program. Do you remember me talking about it some weeks ago? Well, we are actually launching (laughs) on the 3rd of November. And I want to know if you are interested in being part of a group that will provide support systems in place, accountability and warmth and support for the journey ahead. I don't think our world is getting any prettier. Lots of, you know, things have been said about what is coming. And my dream for the Winner's Circle is to just create cohorts of women who will come together and focus on certain pillars, faith and fitness together, then your future, then finances. Then we look at all of the other relationships and families, another big one that we're going to look into. So we're going to be meeting every Sunday evening for one hour. And what you do is you write in before with what you want to be coached on. And in the session, you get coached. And the benefit is everybody who is attending sees the transformation happen and also learns for their own self. It's a powerful thing to be in a group coaching program, let me tell you. I am part of several group coaching programs at the moment. And the transformation, sometimes I don't even need to raise my hand, but I learn from seeing other people coached. So I want to invite you into the winner's circle. Go to lisamdublin.com slash winner's circle. And if you are still listening, just check the show notes. I have put in a promo code for you that you can use for you to get a 40% discount on the Winner's Circle membership for six months. Go check it out. Don't say I can't. Don't say no, this is not for me. Go check out the page first. Apply the promo code and see how much you will be paying for this deal. All right, you guys, that's all I've got today. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much for listening today. Now, I know that you prioritize your growth and success. So if you feel stuck in any area of your life, why don't you consider life coaching? My signature program, How to Get Unstuck Total Transformation, has helped so many professional and executive women to free themselves of limiting beliefs and habits learn to love and prioritize themselves, set firm boundaries and stick to them, be more confident, move up exponentially in their careers and become the best versions of themselves. How badly do you want to get unstuck? How badly do you want to be the best version of you? If you desire more, take the first step right now. Go to my website, lisamdublin.com coaching and book a consultation with me. Let's talk about your coaching needs because the life you want is totally possible.